The lovely red fly agaric, Amanita muscaria, lives in symbiosis with birch and spruce. People have used this circumpolar mushroom to communicate with dwarfs, gods, and ancestors in Eurasia as well as in North America since at least the Upper Paleolithic period, especially during the dark nights of the winter solstice time. The fungus seems to shine the sunlight caught by the birch directly into the depths of the soul, even into its darkest corners. Fly agaric is sympatholytic, meaning it relaxes the sympathetic nervous system so that one is completely relaxed after ingestion. The motor functions are inhibited and the saliva flows. Bright light is disturbing because in this state one perceives the light of the other world. First, shamans travel through the world of dwarves, thereby basically becoming dwarves themselves. When the trance is deep enough, they come into the world of the ancestors. They themselves become one of the dead and learn their knowledge, wisdom, and instructions. In this profound state of immersion, the shaman becomes witness to the midwinter rebirth of the light. The shaman is conscious of the birth of the sun child in the womb of Mother Earth. The winter solstice is therefore the right time for such communion. Ingesting the fly agaric is never done alone as an individual hedonistic trip, but always within the framework of a cultural, ritual context. The shaman experiences the nearly complete loss of motoric skills during the session, which can obviously be very dangerous and is never undertaken alone. Anthropologists such as Christian Retsch believe that Santa Claus, with his red coat trimmed with white fur, is a personification of the fly agaric, with its white speckled red cap. In Germany and also in Western Slavic countries, small imitations of fly agaric made from marzipan, sweetened almond paste, are still part of the celebration of the Twelve Holy Days from Christmas to New Year's and Three Kings Day, January 6th. They connote good luck, as do figurines of chimney sweeps who clean the chimney, the ghost's entryway, little marzipan pigs, which are reminiscent of the gold-bristled boar Freyr who pushes the wheel of the year to get it rolling again, and the Celtic cross in the shape of a green chaperone. According to Germanic lore, the magic mushroom sprang up from the earth where foam had dripped from the nostrils of Odin's eight-legged horse. The Slavic people have a similar myth in which the saliva of Swantowit's horse produces the fungus. Odin's horse, with its eight legs, is a metaphorical image of the funeral buyer, a fitting image, because the shaman is dead while in a deep trance induced by mushrooms and while his soul travels. Like their cousins in Siberia, Algonquin sorcerers inhabiting the birch forests of the Great Lakes region knew red thunder mushroom and used it in shamanic practices, especially to contact the dead. For the Germanic people, the Slavs and the Paleo-Siberian tribes, less so for the Celts, who were rather mycophobic, feared toadstools, Amanita muscaria was the main entheogen. For several participants, seven to nine dried mushroom caps were taken together with reindeer milk, often with cranberry or crowberry juice, or tea made of the narrow-leaved willow herb, Epilobium angustifolium, or fireweed, as it is called in the United States. In the tundra of the far north, where this mushroom does not grow, its value was such that it was exchanged for sable and fox pelts, or even reindeer. Since the active ingredient, muskimol, remains unchanged in urine, the northern Siberian people collected the urine of the shop. Some other members of the tribe then drank it so that they could trap. The missionaries, with their new ideas about the one and only faith, condemned fly agaric, and it was banned. The men of God had a different kind of holy communion in mind, and the legend that the mushroom is fatally poisonous can be traced back to this time. However, the fungus has less to do with poisoning flies than with flying in the sense of shamanic flight. More relaxed about the fungus than Europeans, Russian, Siberian, and Japanese people macerate the toadstool so that the water-soluble toxins, ebotenic acid, are soaked out, and then use it in various mushroom dishes. In Russia and Siberia, the fungus is referred to as makhomor, and considered a useful cancer remedy, particularly for gastric cancer. It was also used in the same way in Rhineland folk medicine. The fly agaric trance requires the absolute silence of the winter night. Every sound can end the trance. In today's world, where a mobile phone suddenly rings, the refrigerator automatically starts to hum, or an aircraft flies over, such a state is hardly possible. 
In addition, the shaman should be called upon by the ancestors and gods. Would-be shamans who hold on to their egos will likely end up on a kind of horror trip.